A mobster in a barrel and more human remains discovered in the plummeting waters of Lake Mead? Here's why more gruesome discoveries are sure to follow. Scientists say access to water in certain parts of the world will soon be greatly diminished, thanks in large part to climate change. This is especially true in the American Southwest, where a significant number of residents get their water from the Colorado and Rio Grande rivers. Due to drought, however, water levels in both natural waterways and man-made reservoirs in the area are lower than ever. An inadequate water supply isn't the only issue when the water levels drop so dramatically. The remains of several dead bodies have also turned up in one well-known man-made lake near Las Vegas. The story behind these human remains touches on the early days of Sin City, and according to sources close to the situation, they're likely just the beginning. There's a very good chance as the water level drops that we are going to find you know, additional human remains. The human remains were found in Lake Mead, one of the largest man-made lakes on the planet and the largest reservoir in the U.S. The Lake Mead Reservoir was formed when the Colorado River was dammed in the 1930s by the Hoover Dam. Since 1999, epic drought combined with swiftly growing populations in nearby urban centers has strained water levels. In 2022, the water in Lake Mead reached its lowest point yet, and as a result, low-level pumps were activated for the first time. According to USA Today, water at Lake Mead is currently lower than it's been since 1937, revealing human remains in the most dried-up parts of the reservoir. The first body, found by boaters on May 1, 2022 at Hemingway Harbor, was inside a barrel. Authorities say the unidentified male was shot sometime in the 1970s or the 1980s based on his clothing. Given the gunshot wound, the cause of death was believed to be homicide. That theory has now been confirmed by the Clark County Coroner, according to CNN. As of the making of this video, the body has not been identified, but efforts are underway to extract a viable DNA sample. The second discovery came on May 7th at Colville Bay. Those remains, found by paddle boaters, have been confirmed to have belonged to a person between the ages of 23 and 37 years old, according to CNN. We thought it was bighorn sheep at first, and as we discovered more and more bones, um, especially the jawbone, we realized this is definitely human. The cause of death remains undetermined, but foul play is not suspected. The third and final remains, discovered at Swim Beach on July 25th, were only partial, and authorities say they're undergoing testing to see what can be determined about them. Whenever dead bodies and Las Vegas show up in the same sentence, with certain remains dating back decades, some suspect those killings might be mob-related. In the case of the so-called Hemingway Harbor Doe, there's actual evidence that may be the case. Or as Lt. Jason Johansson of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Homicide Unit told CNN, anytime you have a body in a barrel, clearly there was somebody else involved. The vice president of the Mob Museum in Las Vegas, Jeff Schumacher, told the New York Post that the body found at Hemingway Harbor has all the hallmarks of a mob murder, saying, I think a lot of these individuals will likely have been drowning victims, but a barrel has a signature of a mob hit, stuffing a body in a barrel. Sometimes they would dump it in the water. University of Nevada Las Vegas history professor Michael Green told the Post that the discoveries brought to mind the mystery of who killed Bugsy Siegel, a 1940s-era Las Vegas mobster whose assassin was never caught. Green told the Post, I wouldn't bet the mortgage that we're going to solve who killed Bugsy Siegel, but I would be willing to bet there are going to be a few more bodies. In 2021, Lake Mead was at 1,080 feet, which triggered a water shortage declaration. Since then, the level of water has dropped an additional 25 feet in just one year. As recently as the year 2000, both Lake Mead and Lake Powell, another nearby reservoir which local populations rely on for water and power, were considered full. They're now at just 30% capacity, which is a huge issue, considering that Lake Mead supplies drinking water and hydroelectrical power for some 25 million people. 